Hey everybody, it's Jay. I'm going to be unboxing an item that I ordered about a month ago at this point, I guess. From Canada. The box is pretty long, so it's going to be hard to get all in frame, I'm sure. I've been interested in getting one of these for a while. The unfortunate thing is Dark Sword Armory seems to be the only maker actually making a German Executioner Sword. Which may not be that unfortunate if it's made well. This is my first Dark Sword Armory sword, so I'm curious to see how it, what it looks like. Uh, Dark Sword has a pretty mixed reputation on the internet, but Cold Steel does as well, and my uh, experience with Cold Steel so far has been very good. So I don't know how much of that reputation is old and how much of that is recent. Yeah, it is quite a large sword, as I expected it would be. There's a little uh, little stiletto attached to it. It was a coupon to get a free one with an order, so I used it on this. A little bit of progress on the wrap. It is very heavily shrink wrapped. Which is good, because then hopefully it means it won't get damaged in transit. This did have a long ways to go. Yeah, it was in shipping for not not too long, about a week. Uh, I think it only stuck in customs for about a day before getting, getting through, so that wasn't too bad. And they did ship it FedEx. But thankfully, they did not route through the Memphis Distribution Center, because that one seems to still be backed up from all the ice storms back in the day. Uh, back from about a month ago or so. I'll finish unwrapping it. Ooh, that's a blade heavy boy, which I guess is not really that surprising. Uh, here you go. The size it is definitely a two hander, which is good because it's blade heavy. The inscription there, it reads Ich schone niemand, which is I spare no one. It looks like that's inset, the engraving is inset into the blade, and then. This very heavy, front-heavy tip here that's got the cutouts here. I'm not sure what those are for exactly. I have to read up on it a little bit. But of course, no point because it's not meant for thrusting at all. Now, I did order the sharpened. There does appear to be an edge on it, but it is very steep. It's almost not even edge. Not even an edge, I should say. Uh, super, I mean, it's, it's got a little bite to it, but, but interestingly, yeah, I'm sure that they do that to avoid running it up on the engraving, but man, that is a steep edge, so I'm not really sure it's going to cut very well, but we'll find out. It took ages to get the, uh, sheath out of the scabbard, I should say out of the plastic wrapping. But it's out now. Pretty nice looking scabbard. Feels like it's wood core, metal shape. And this one appears to have the interlaced sword belt with it. Again, right now, at a glance, the only real issue I'm seeing on it is the edges just doesn't seem particularly sharp. And by that I mean it has a very a significant angle to it not a not a narrow angle at all but again I'm sure they did that to avoid issues on the uh, the engraving and if I sharpen it if it needs it I'll end up probably doing it mainly on the cutting edge ahead of the engraving where the sort of the chopping point is it does look like the blade is pretty thick there to give it that blade heavy need. Pretty flexible. 
we'll see how it goes. I'll be doing a review on this for the main channel later on. Do some jumping tests with it. Talk a little bit about how the edge performed, how the sword held up. Um, it looks okay at a glance. But I have been wrong before. Just while we're looking at it, here is the little stiletto that I ordered with it. Now this was again a freebie. Uh, it was there was a coupon for a free one with a purchase. So why not? I added it on there. <laughs> it's a little little itty bitty tiny, especially it's got this kind of triangular point. Uh, but especially compared to that. We're curious to see what was in the envelope. Uh, we have a warranty card, $100 off next order, uh, just a little bit about Dark Sword it looks like, oh, how to lace up the sword belt, and then a gigantic sticker. <laughs> so that was the envelope there. Pick this out, start doing some cutting with it soon. Watch for that on the main channel, which will be linked. And we'll see how it holds up. This is Jay, and I'll catch you later.